Some public servants are calling for the removal of the current president of the Ghana Public Service Union, GPSU. Sasha Ramsaran reports. Members of the Guyana Public Service Union, GPSU, are currently calling for the removal of the current leader of the organization, who, according to the members, has held the position for over 30 years since 1987. In the latter part of March, public servants held several protests in front of the Guyana Public Service Union's headquarters on Shiv Chandrapal Drive, calling for the removal of the president. According to the members, they are not being adequately represented by the current president and is looking for a leader with a fresh perspective. Jermaine Hermanstein, a public servant, disclosed some of the main issues of concern to the GPSU members. Uh, one of the core issues that we want to highlight is the fact that Patrick Yard has been president for over 30 years. Many persons were not... Many persons are in the public service, their ages are 27, 22. Some persons, before they were ever born, Patrick Yard has been president. And therefore, um, we think that it is unfair to have one person who is occupying that seat for so long. As a matter of fact, this is a gentleman who collects almost a million dollars a month. A while public servants, many public servants out there, do not even work for $100,000 a month. It is unfair and a vexation to the spirit that this gentleman continue to trample on the backs of public servants. As a matter of fact, one of our main concerns is, is the union dues that he's receiving. The union have not been audited for over 15 to 16 years, which is, a, which is in violation of the rules. Miss Karen Van Sleitman echoed the sentiments of her colleague saying, He has become visionless. He's not doing anything in the best interest of the public servants in this country. As a matter of fact, it is the view of almost all of the public servants that we've been speaking with the members that he's no longer interested in their well-being and their welfare, but rather he's interested in what the, the Kayana Public Service Union can do for him. And so we are calling all public servants in Regions 5 and 6 to recognize that it is now time for them to stand up and to reclaim the Guyana Public Service Union. When asked if the members have identified an appropriate candidate to fill the post of president, Mr. Hermanstein responded, We're supporting the, the, the branch chairman of the Guyana Geology Mines, Mr. Gregory Gasper, for president. Um, one of the reasons why we're supporting him, it is because we believe that it is time for Yara to go. We need fresh ideas, we need a new vision, and we need someone who could take this organization forward. The Public Service Union moved from a membership of 30,000 to less than 5,000 now. Now, I think that in itself speaks to the kind of leader that it currently has. According to Mr. Hermanstein, they have taken the matter to the court and the matter is scheduled to be heard during the course of the week. GPSU First Vice President Mr. Mortimer Liven had issued comments on the situation stating that the protests are being carried out by a few misguided and perhaps disgruntled members. Liven also stated that GPSU rules permit the current president to contest for as long as he lives since the written protocols do not allow for an age limit for membership. The GPSU was established on June 8, 1923 with the aim of representing workers in a dynamic and democratic way. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.